So now you've had the chance to come into the makerspace and learn to use the 3D printers, but what are you going to use the 3D printers for? In other words, what are you going to 3D print next? Now, 3D printing is actually a three-step process. The first step is getting or making the 3D print models that you want. The second step is preparing that 3D print model, like with the slicer. And the third step is actually running the 3D printer, loading it up with filament, making sure that everything's going well. Now, you've learned about the second and third step, but that first step, where do those 3D print models come from? Fortunately, there's a world of 3D print models that are already out there that people have made and put out there for you to find. You just got to know where to look for them. So let me show you where to look for them right now. So right here, we've got Yegi. Yegi is a little bit like Google, but specific to 3D print files. Now, Yegi doesn't keep its 3D print files on Yegi. They send you to other websites to get those files. So... For instance, this file is held on Thingiverse, and this one's on Pinshape. This one down here is on CG Trader. And when you go to these other websites, they're going to, you're going to have to search through those websites to find the 3D print files that you want. It's not that hard. You're just looking for the STL download. Occasionally, OBJ and even rarer 3MF are the files that you're looking for. Usually, you're looking for an STL. But if you click download and it gives you a zip, the files that you're looking for are probably inside that zip. So you're going to have to extract that zip file to get it the 3D print files inside of there. If you need help with that, we can help you here at the Makerspace do that the first time so that you can learn. But what if you search for something and it's not on Yegi, not as far as you can find well, there's another website, STL Finder here is a fantastic place to look for them. And admittedly, STL Finder has a better name for a site that's looking for STLs. But I generally speaking find what I'm looking for more on Yegi than I do on STL Finder. In fact, you don't even need these. You could potentially just search in Google for what you're looking for and add 3D print files or STL to the end of your search. And sometimes you'll find results that you won't even find on Yegi and STL Finder. But what if you searched Yegi and Google and STL Finder and what you're looking for is just not out there? Well, then you are going to have to become the modeler. You're going to be have you're going to have to be the one to make the models that you want. And in that case, you're going to have to learn some 3D modeling. Now, fortunately, there are a world of great 3D modeling programs, and many of them are free, especially if you're just a hobbyist using them. And I want to share with you my top three suggestions right now. The first suggestion is right here. It's called Tinkercad. You go to the website, tinkercad.com, and it's a program, yes, but it's also a website. It's all contained within the website. There's nothing to download or install, which makes it super easy to use. But what's more is once you go in here and you create your account and log in, you can log in on that account here at the Makerspace, and all of your designs will follow you right here. You don't have to carry anything around. So that's super convenient, and I really do kind of dig it. Tinkercad is robust. It's capable. It can do almost everything that you're looking for. However, it is admittedly limited, and there may come a time... Now, for some people, they never stop using Tinkercad. It is all they ever need, and that's great, but maybe you're wanting a little bit more sophistication in the 3D modeling that you're doing. Well, for you... I like to use Blender. Now, Blender 2.8 is fantastic. They fix the user interface. It's wonderful. You do have to download Blender and install it on your computer. But we do have Blender installed on the computers here at the Makerspace, so you don't have to worry about that. And it is free. However, Blender is not specifically for 3D modeling. It's actually a 3D animation program that just happens to have some very good and robust 3D modeling tools. It's capable of doing 3D modeling to exact specifications so that things will fit with their real-life components, but it also has some great organic modeling tools and sculpting tools. It's really, it's really the whole package. 
And the best part about Blender is if you want to use any of its other functionality or want to learn to use something new on it, it's all the same user interface. If you've already learned it once, those skills transfer. However, for some people, this vast amount of, of usability in Blender is a bit too much to worry about, and they want something a bit more streamlined and focused, and something a bit more CAD-like exactness. Fortunately for you, there is Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is created by Autodesk. It's, it's a professional-level modeling tool, but it's not free unless you jump through a couple of hoops. So you can get it for free legally from Autodesk. All you have to do is go in through the right link, which I will put in the description for you, and sign up for the account. Say, yes, I'm just a hobbyist or I'm a student or I'm doing this not professionally. If you do start making money with this and start using it professionally, because it is professional grade modeling, they want you to pay them for the right to use it. And and you should. You should absolutely do that. So for that reason, that's, that's another one that I suggest. And it is perhaps the most commonly used 3D modeling program right now. So there you go. Three options for doing 3D modeling and options as well for finding 3D print files. So hopefully with that, I will see you back here at the Makerspace soon and making cool stuff. But until then, I look forward to seeing you. Ooh, oh, God, i got to go work on some stuff. So I'll see you later.